May also marks Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, recognizing the group's contributions and influence to the history, culture, and achievements of the United States. In recent years, their communities have been gripped by anger and fear as hate crimes against them skyrocketed, rising 339% last year compared with 2020, according to the group Stop AAPI Hate. This prompting Asian American lawmakers to demand action. Newsy National correspondent Mara Sirianni spoke with a Georgia lawmaker in uh, Georgia. In Georgia, and Mara, she noted progress on the federal uh, level, but there still needs to be work done here. Yeah, Jay, and she vows to do that work. So in the year following the deadly Atlanta spa shootings where six women of Asian descent were killed, Senator Michelle Al has been a prominent voice for justice and advocacy. Hi, my name is Dr. Michelle Au. State Senator Dr. Michelle Au is the first Asian American woman elected to the Georgia Senate. She's also a strong voice and leader in the AAPI community. Having Asian voices at the table, having Asian representation at even the highest levels of uh, government. In March of last year, a 22-year-old white man killed eight people at three Atlanta area spas. Six were women of Asian descent. In response to the shootings, the AAPI Democratic Caucus introduced three bills to the Georgia state government. Two focus on community outreach, requesting translation services for 911 operators and police. The third bill aimed to require a five-day waiting period to buy a firearm. Since the time that we dropped those bills and since the end of this past session, those bills have gotten exactly nowhere. Despite all the rhetoric that we heard and listening to the Asian population and all this incredible sympathy and outpouring of um, attention, no legislative action was taken. Progress on the federal level, President Biden signed legislation making it easier to record and report hate crimes and violence against Asian Americans. And we signed the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act in the law. Prior to the Atlanta shootings and during the COVID pandemic, there was already a rise in such crimes. Between March of 2020 and December of 2021, nearly 11,000 incidents were reported to the advocacy group Stop AAPI Hate. In California, lawmakers introduced two bills that aim to combat harassment and violence against the AAPI community in public spaces. And while she is frustrated by the lack of legislative progress in Georgia, Al says great progress is being made on the community level. Where we lacked progress in terms of the legislation we were able to pass, we made up for in terms of the way that community leaders, organizers, activists were able to galvanize this energy and this grief into increasing Asian American visibility and um, awareness. And Al tells me that lawmakers will push those same three bills in the next legislative session. She also talked about the importance of teaching Asian American education in schools. So far, Illinois and New Jersey will both mandate an AAPI history requirement in their curriculum for K through 12. And Jay, of course, putting a spotlight on this community in May, but it's something uh, you saw those numbers there alarming. The hate crimes needs to be uh, focused on all the time. Very big numbers. And yeah. it's not just the physical attacks. It's also you know the verbal abuse, the harassment. Uh, stuff that needs to stop. Mara, thank you.